can lean in and I can talk to you about Beardy Folk Festival and these beautiful trees that are the backdrop to the festival there. They are actually, it's, it's lovely. I mean, that's one of the things about Beardy is the is the background and uh, and the and the sort of the whole s whole setup really. This is it your first Beardy? I assume. That's right. Um, day three, the final day, and thankfully we had some great weather. Um, I think it was a bit of a challenge yesterday. I've heard some stories from folks, but you're right that it's a beautiful community of people. You know, music lovers. People really listen here. And your music, I mean, we listened to your set, set earlier, and it, it really made me think about the huge variety of music that is in the folk world. So, I mean, your music is, is different, say, compared to traditional folk music, but there you've got an audience, a new audience for you. Yeah, I'm telling stories, I think... Um for me, that's the definition of folk music, but um, it's an ongoing debate, isn't it? One that we all enjoy getting our teeth into. But I think, you know, I've, I've done this project called Voices from the Cones, which is about the history of glass making in Starbridge. And um, I was given this oral history archive that was made around the time the factories closed, the last glass making factories. And, um, the, the factories were the hub of the community. You know, some people were kind of married and wed, uh, met their partners, you know, within the glassworks. And I just focused in on individual stories and family stories. Um, and I mean, for me, that is folk music. You know. So, yes, yeah, so, and what you're doing, I think, is you're bringing to life a community, a way of life, and you're taking that to people in other areas that wouldn't have experienced that in the same way. Thank you. If, if I'm doing that, that that's um, that's that that's my job done, really. Yeah, I mean, the songs kind of wrote themselves. These, all the stories were there, and um, you know, regardless of the genre or the sonics of the music involved, I think um, at the heart of it, it's music's about a shared experience, isn't it? It absolutely right, and just. What is it about glass and your background that's that's led you to become so inspired to uh, write songs and make this music about glass? Well, Voices from the Cones came about uh, the theatre show just before the lockdown in 2019. Um, Alan Ellsmore at the Ruskin Glass Centre was a long time was a fan of my music and I used to go and perform shows there. And um, the Heritage Lottery Fund came along and, and they had this opportunity to write a theatre show um, about the glass workers' stories and lives. Um, and together with uh, the poet John Edgar, we set about writing this theatre show together. And then, of course, the pandemic happened. Um, and I found I suffered a, an ear injury and found myself um, sort of stranded in some ways, landlocked in Japan and um, I began living through the glass and uh, um, it was actually Chris Difford that coined the phrase um, through a conversation with him, the glass age and how we've adopted all these devices as part of the family really and uh, the way we feel about one another may not have changed but the way we communicate it has and it just occurred to me that um, that was what I was tapping into, that was the stream of, of where my ideas were at for all my new material and I'd been drawn towards this glass in both of its forms, you know, whether that's the actual material itself and the history um, around where I grew up near Sabridge, you know, they've been making glass for over 400 years and then I found myself sort of, you know, landlocked behind the glass in many ways to communicate with um, Family and um, all my work connections and everything was you know, through the through the through the lens through the glass itself. Fascinating. Well, good luck with the tour and taking these stories uh, around uh, around the country. And uh, thank you. Thank you.